Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for some more. The other Kings 2, I'm really Kelvin. Where, after having a chat with my Twitch chat and talking about battle tactics, I've made a strange decision that a lot of people are going to question. We're going to start by disbanding all the uh, all the heavy infantry retinues. Apparently, I can also not go into hiding, which is nice. And uh, instead, instead here, we're going to start replacing them with additional pikemen. And archers, of course. So. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. That's not exactly where I would have put them. Thank you, game. One, two... One, one, two, three, four, one, two. Somehow I've still managed to fuck this up. Seven, eight, and six really does not seem correct. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the... One each there, yep. Uh, let's see, can I... Okay, so this needs, I think... One archer retinue? Yeah, one archer retinue, two archer retinue, three archer retinue. I think is correct. So we need three more archer retinues. I suppose that can be arranged. That, uh, that seems about right. Good. And looking at the army composition now. Yep. Okay. Good. So, one of the great things about pikemen is that they actually have higher stats than heavy infantry in the uh, melee phase. 10.9 over 8.5. Which is uh, pretty kind of handy. Not going to lie. Uh, in addition, if we have a look here at raising costs for them, the defense retinue. We get 250 pikemen, 50 archers, for a mere 600 retinue cap usage. And the shock retinue gets us 270 infantry and 50 archers for 700 retinue usage. So, after running some numbers and checking out the tactics, I feel like it is significantly better if we work on our pikes. Yeah, stressed. Yeah, economic content stresses out. Trying to learn a new language, though? Ugh. I feel him. So, where were we? Myself, two other things. Oh dear. It also appeared to be uh, my stream dropping. Never a good sign. Hmm. I could go back to studying the stars. That is a valid potential thing to do. Hmm. I will hide this and dedicate myself to other things. Now, as I said, I apologize for having to do this mid-video, but, um... I have a slight problem I have to take care of here. Oh dear. No, wait, that's the wrong cable. There it is. I have to... My internet cuts out every so often. It's really annoying when streaming. And, you know, unfortunately it's happening today in the middle of a video. And a very odd solution to my internet cutting out, amazingly enough, actually, the, the beatings keep going, so I'm going to tell you to stop doing that, is that I just replace some modem cable with another cable. Like, I just switch between the two. <laughs> I'm pretty certain my ISP is just fucking with me these days, but, you know, whatever. Oh, dear. 
Pray to Shiva that she will recover from the slow fever. Everyone will be fine, I'm sure. Not the end of the world or anything. We kind of lived through that one already. It has completely botched the treatment. Compensate him for job well done on the good treatments. He's useful. Alright. Not bad. And everyone else has busily gone into hiding as slow fever overtakes the kingdom. Mm hmm. I'm not quite sure how it spread here. Slow fever from Demac. So. Yeah, this seems to have managed to overtake the uh, water provinces. That's concerning for us, isn't it? As it does prove... Alright. It does prove that uh, we aren't exactly invincible out here. Rather concerning find, and there we are. And the stream is now coming back online. I uh, apologize for the inconvenience for those of you watching live. That's just my... Uh, that's my daily ISP fucking with me. There we are. Good. Very good. So, as we were talking about here, yeah, so slow fever can go over pro over uh, sea provinces, it turns out. But interestingly, it never goes over this sea province. That's good to know. Because everything here is totally covered, but this strait is not. I assume this is because the port in Sambas goes to the Tua Sea. This port goes here. And there is actually no port in this location. So, while slow fever can spread from here to here, here that leaves but four potential province entries, um, and thereby exits, for the disease. An interesting note, because uh, a good choke point here would be uh, real nice. Speaking of which, let's head back over to the stewardship focus now. And we're revoking your title. Most because we're jerks. Yar. These two traits say something different. You're an Enuke as well. I see. The crusade for Jerusalem has also failed. Not to anyone's real surprise, honestly, but, you know. Build a hospital. Yeah, so. That's interesting and good to know. Yeah, pe people are dying of the slow fever. It's fine. It's fine, man. Alright. You can usurp a title as well. Hmm. Curious. Curious. Either way, I suppose it's about time we uh, start marching out there. Man, this is amazing. This hospital is just done. I don't think I'm ever going to upgrade it again. Like, there's just no reason to. I feel like it would be better if I, you know, instead decided to start building up these hospitals and get all the benefits from the uh, secondary buildings here, right? Because like, a lot of karma and... Uh, piety to liege stuff we can get. And don't even get me started on all the potential tech points. Oh boy. Yeah. Technologically speaking, we are quite the realm. Alright. This is the Tianjia mod, which proceeds to add in the Chinese and East Asian regions to the game. Alright. Let's see. We got 26,000 more or less prepped and ready to go. Lavo appears to actually be at peace. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, well, let's uh, let's begin expanding our realm then, shall we? Because, incidentally, this is the last couple of uh, provinces in this kingdom, isn't it? It is. Everything else has just sort of been conquered up to it for us. And it'll be a good chance for us to try out our new retinue. And we also could stand to get some more commanders, who hopefully haven't locked themselves inside their blasted castles in fear of slow fever. I call them cowards. The Black Death? Yeah, you can, you can totally pretty much just hide from that. That's, that's legit. But I, I'm less favorable to people who are hiding in their castles as a result of slow fever. Best we're getting, I guess. Yeah. And for everyone else is apparently uh, very busy. Yeah. Oh well. Into the boats. Let us go. And we have a good amount of prosperity too. Like, even with the slow fever. Oh dear, diarrhea. Void spices and vipers treat your diarrhea. I mean, I don't think diarrhea is a... Alas. I mean... Yeah, this seems more like food poisoning than slow fever. Not gonna lie. These are dark days. Not beset. Is now beset by high fever. Yeah, you have slow fever. That I know. Luckily, it's only a mild case of it. You'll do fine. And successful treatment. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, plus three health. Minus three health. Commander was slain on the battlefield. A shame. Real shame is that we now have to command soldiers. And it turns out, uh... Well, that just outrightly and immediately killed me. Died of the slow fever. I assume it was a severe illness, then. Just, I, I mean, I have to assume it was. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll be fine. Hopefully. We have a fairly competent regent. We need a new chief diviner, though. Alright. Hmm. You can check the shield on your character, yeah. I can do that. I, I need to remember that button is there. I remember it all the time for these guys, but, you know. Never my own character. Anyway. I guess we have to appoint someone here. I'm assuming, yeah, independence. I see that already. There's going to be a uh, rather bloody fight coming soon. Alright, we have 11. Yeah. Alright, so we can give up a province around here, I guess. Granted landed title, since he is our nephew after all. Band 10. Alright. 
Can I, uh, can I anything? Or... I, I see. Okay, so the council has decided to refuse me the ability to grant titles. Excellent. This, uh, this, this always starts out well. Luckily, this will eventually go away. Alright, good. And so is the slow fever. No one really to marry, though. Sure. Let's, uh, let's just push. Push a little bit, yeah? Good. You want to take over this castle now? I see. So, others have begun to join in. We should probably increase our pace with which we attack them. Slow fever. When is it not the slow fever? Am I right? I mean, really, at this point, it's never. Alright, well, that's the one province down. I mean... Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, we have 58%, and I suppose we can get some Could we? Could we though? I don't know. Don't know. I think the retinues should be okay on their own, but it's kind of uh, kind of something we need to be careful about. It's very easy for them to just kind of explode. And also they cost an arm and a bloody leg, and I'm hemorrhaging money as a result of them. Oh well, I mean, this is good enough. It weakens him, and he absolutely hates me. How bad is it? This is a hard one. Malaya, Bonnie, Manila. All right, that would align those three against me. Whom else? You. You. Hmm. Yeah, they've they've got a lot of line against me. I'm not fully confident we could win it. In this case, I'm gonna give in. I'm just gonna have to do that. We'll point you as an advisor despite your uselessness. You will hate me, though. For now, I give in. I, I will take the power back. Hereditary Despotic Imperial Autocracy. That power will return to me. I make that as a promise. Now I have an even larger issue that I have to deal with. The fact that we literally just lost 4,000 soldiers. And the fact that I probably still can't appoint friggin' provinces out of me. Like, I kind of need to. Hmm. 
Could just say fuck the council. Not gonna lie. I like that option. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't say fuck the council because it's a regency. So, I have no way to give out titles. <sighs> the independence faction is now uh, striking up itself. Excellent. This is looking like it's going to be a rough, rough reign. Willful and haughty. Really? Out of all the traits you ended up with, you ended up with the two martial traits. I guess we have a general on our hands. Which, as I seem to have been able to correctly predict, is not at all what we needed. Defenders, yep, good. 12 days. Peasant revolt, handy. That to fuck council it doesn't work. Yeah. The problem is I can't say screw the council in a regency. The council has full authority. Like, there, there's literally nothing I can do right now. As long as the council is, you know, filled with malcontents. I could do the smart thing and appoint sycophants and tell them to shove it. it may lead to playful. Easy money. It's something. Yeah, gregarious or deceitful. Just try and end this already. Good. We win the war. Oh, but wait. Well, luckily I can still do this. Alright. That's it. The council are becoming sycophants. You're fired. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah you're alright. Good. Excellent. Now. Much better, isn't it? Much better. And I still need to hand out two more. Alright. Damn, I got hit by depopulation. That's okay. Alright. I thought I handed out the... Strauss and uh... Eh. It'll do. It'll do. Alright, so all of this has also been handed out, which means we still need to hand out two more titles. This also means that uh, we can more or less just take over the rest of Palembang here. Congratulations, you have syphilis. I'm not sure how you managed to get syphilis, but you've got syphilis. 
Seriously, the Aztecs aren't exactly here yet. Oh damn if uh, that ain't being ravaged like hell. Just because the Aztecs landed there does not mean we should have syphilis all the way over here less than a few years later. It's kind of ridiculous. Yep. Alright. Eleven-year-old genius deal. We're gonna need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starving. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll happen. Uh, and I suppose I also do need to set my crown focus. Let's get that set up. All right. Well, we're, we've kind of managed to recover. Unfortunately, we've lost more than half of our goddamn levies now. There we are. That's better. That's before I've started to replace uh, certain provinces. Alright. 